I'm going to show you the most common fixes for your PlayStation 3, whether it's the fat PlayStation 3 or the slim PlayStation 3 or the new ultra slim PlayStation 3. It works for all three versions of the PlayStation 3. And these are the most common fixes for the PlayStation 3. I, I fixed mine three or four times and fixed my nephew and my son's PlayStation 3. And these are the most common fixes. If you want to check out my playlists, on how to fix TVs and tablets and computers and game systems, check out my Tampa Tech channel and I created a bunch of playlists below the video. Uh, I'll leave a bunch of links below in the video description, okay? And so, the most common fix is an overheated PlayStation 3. So if you got a lot of dust in the vents, clogging the vents, then the fan can't blow out the hot air. Then it just overheats and it'll turn off or lock up. So, if you go, it doesn't go left, up, down, right, you can't do nothing with the screen, it's all locked up and it's frozen. What you need to do is unplug the power cord. Unplug the power cord, wait about 30 seconds for the capacitors inside the power supply to discharge. Then you want to plug it back into the PlayStation 3. The red light should come on. If you do not have the red light on the front panel, that means you don't have the 5 volts logic going to your main board. You could have a bad power supply. So I have a video in the video description below, or um, right here, and you can click on that, and it'll show you how to fix the power supply on the PlayStation 3. So next thing you want to do is turn it on, make sure it turns on. You should have a green light. Now if you get a blank screen, or it says no signal, or it's a blue screen like that, I'm going to show you how to fix that also as well. So now, to do a soft reset, this is what you should do to do a soft reset. Anytime you get this screen where it says your system has not shut down properly, um, only thing you have to do is hit circle. Okay. Um, also, here's a soft reset. What I just showed you with the plug was a hard reset. A soft reset is to hold down the power button until the power button turns red. All right, and then what you want to do is turn it back on, and that's called a soft reset. That works majority of the time also for a frozen PS3. So those are two resets for a frozen PS3. And there it is. Now, here's another fix for no um, no signal or blank screen. So what you want to do is hold down the power button again until it turns red. Once the power button turns red, then you want to hold down the power button one more time until you hear a beep. Hold that down. Yeah, there's your beep. Let go. And uh, my TV changed input. So make sure you're on the right TV input. And uh, make sure HDMI 1. There it is. So right here, I'm going to plug it in. And it'll say, available HDMI device was detected. Do you want an output video and audio using HDMI? And hit yes. And it'll adjust this in. Can you read this screen? Current resolution is 1080p. And then go left, and then hit yes. And then there it is, it's set for the highest resolution on your TV screen. And that's how you reset the video on your PlayStation 3. It's a video reset. Now, I'm going to show you another reset. This is called a factory reset. And that's if your computer, like your PlayStation 3 is severely messed up. So you want to hold the power button down until you get the red light. Now it's a red light. Then you want to hold the power button again again. Once you hold it down, keep on holding it until you hear one beep. That's the video reset. Keep on holding it. And, and it's going to turn off. That's normal. Then hold the power button down again, and you'll get that beep. OK. And then you get that beep again. Those two quick beeps, that means you're going to be in service mode. All right, now you want to plug it into the PlayStation 3 controller and hit the center button. All right, and it shows you restart system, restore default settings. That usually doesn't work. Restore file system. That usually does not work. Rebuild database. 
few times that works, and what works most of the time is restore PS3 system, and then you would hit X. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I got all my game saves on here. So once you do this, number five, restore PS3 system, that's going to delete everything on your PlayStation 3 except for the last update you had. Like, so you would lose your game saves and your um, downloadable content, but you can retrieve that back, some of your um, stuff, not your game saves, unless you backed it up on uh, USB drive. And then you sign into PlayStation 3, and then you can re-download everything under your account history. But I'm not gonna do that. So here's a video right here, or a video description for how to do a restore PS3 system. Now lastly, this is how to reset your PlayStation 3 controller. Now, once you want to get out of this, so to get out of this, only thing you have to do is hit the center button. You want to do is restart system, and then just it gets you out of that. It just resets, a soft reset on your system. All right, now if you want to reset your PlayStation 3 controller, this is how to reset the PlayStation 3 controller. If you have an original, official PlayStation 3 controller, this is how to reset the PlayStation 3 controller so you can sync it in or connect it to the PlayStation 3 unit. Using a paper clip right here, and you push it in, and you hear a click. And you hold it one, two, three, four, five, and that's a reset. And then next, you want to do is just plug it in, and then hit. And that's how, now it's connected to your PlayStation 3. As long as you got that solid red light, and you're good to go. And those are the most common fixes for the PlayStation 3. If you have any PlayStation 3 buddies, go ahead and share it by clicking the share button below this video. And also, don't forget to like if you like this video, if it helped you out. Check out my other YouTube videos on my Tampa Tech channel, how to fix TVs and tablets and phones and computers and all that good stuff on my Tampa Tech channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Tampa Tech for future easy common tech fixes.